I am Henry ZR1AN and this is my studio, office and amateur radio station. Currently the computer is set up for slow scan TV. The transceiver you see here is a Kenwood TS570S and its frequency is set up for transmission and reception of slow scan TV on a simplex frequency. This is the FT847 which has got HF capabilities as well as VHF and UHF. Uh, it uh, can also receive the aircraft band and marine channel. It's more complex than the TS570S so for plain HF operations outside the shack this one's actually more suitable. Both of them can be used with an antenna tuner by means of cabling and a switch into the antenna tuner here. The meter no longer works which is why there's an external meter as well but in practice I mostly rely on the meter here. In my setup the antenna cable is the grey one that comes from the hole here. It goes into the antenna tuner and then it goes through the elliptical filter and I will say more about that one later on. From the elliptical filter cable goes into a switch which allows me to select either the FD847 or the TS570 but not both at the same time. Now the purpose of the antenna tuner is to match the impedance of whatever antenna you got attached to it to the impedance that the transceivers either this one or that one want to see typically 50 ohms. The television the receive impedance is 75 ohm. There are various antenna tuner types. There are T tuners. This one is a Pi unit. You have a selectable coil that is the second knob from the right, which allows you to select various taps on an internal coil. The two top knobs control capacitors which are variable. The switch on the left hand bottom allows you to select a antenna for coaxial cables either one or two. You can also bypass the antenna tuner entirely which is what I do when I receive outside the amateur bands. And here is the whole HF and VHF system once more that here it is set up for and now receiving weather facts. The antenna tuner unit is used to match the transmitter to whatever antenna system is attached to it. It does not actually tune the antenna it adjusts the impedance that is presented to it by the antenna system to the impedance that the transceiver needs to see for optimum operation. You tune for maximum signal strength when you're receiving and that should be close to the optimum impedance for transmission. The antenna tuner therefore actually also acts as a filter against unwanted transmission. Every transmitter has got some spurious signals. The new ones are much better than those from let's say 30-40 years ago. In fact this one's already 15 years old but it is much better than previous models I had which had spurious signals all over the place. I live in a closely built up area in Old Devonport and the filtering action of the antenna tuner 
is not quite enough to keep um, me out of neighbors TVs and mine for that matter so I built this elliptical filter from data in the American Radio Relay League handbook it is essentially two power tuned circuits in series and they act as trapped specifically for the channel 2 frequency for TV1 and the channel 4 frequency for TV2 that's 54261 for channel 2 and 174281 for channel 4 this has worked effectively uh, it's possibly overrated for the 100 watts that I'm putting out it does work quite well it is always possible for RF energy to go into places where it's not really wanted and one material in various forms that can be helping in that situation is ferrite on the left hand side there is a dual core which can be used for leads then there are beads which I use both for matching purposes in constructions as well as filtering then there is a large ferrite bead that uh, I have that actually never had any use for but the clamp on the right I use quite frequently on cables where I don't want any RF on the outside in domestic situations uh, we have transistor equipment like um, CD players and stuff that have got no internal RF protection whatsoever and the best you can do is to use clamps of various sizes on the cables leading to and from them.